I, I noticed this one and one particular person was using the word civilian, you know, and and calling us civilians. Yeah, and then telling us it's great. Yeah, you're a civilian. No, police are civilians under the Bill of Rights and Constitution. But when mayors and police call us civilians, that's a martial law term for the control grid. And notice how they're all using it now. Yeah, I uh, I made a point of that. You know, there was a guy trying to cause trouble there, just, you know, riling You up, civilians yeah. are second class. We're <laughs> the government. We're the authorities. We're the officials. No longer servants. No longer representatives. It's now authority, official, and you're a civilian. Shut up! I've been in Iraq pushing them around, and now I push you around. It's crazy. They're not supposed to be calling us civilians, you know, cops. Hey, I'm going to push you, black guy. If you don't like it, I'm going to taste you. No reason. Oh, you're begging me, huh? That just gets me hot. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's You laughing right at there. me? You laughing at me, civilian? <laughs> that right there is, uh... Maybe I'll put duct tape on your mouth, your eyes, arms, and legs, and throw you in the river. Talk about how you committed suicide. What about the government? You don't like it, boy? How about government figures? We run this country now! Bend him over! Come on, little piggy! Let me hear you squeal! Wee! Wee! You little piggy! We run this country now! Yeah! We run it! And it's ours! You <laughs> gonna learn, boy! We gonna learn you good now! Who runs it? <laughs> the government's king! And we rule! All I gotta do go get the job as cop! And now I tell you what you do! Now I tell everybody! You understand me, boy? Huh? Huh? <laughs> You got a problem with me calling it, calling you civilian? Lick my boots! This ain't good enough! Begging ain't good enough, boy! Get out there on the ground and lick my boots! I'm gonna piss on you now! <sighs> you we run your country now, boy! Yeah, maybe a little less caffeine. Yeah, Alex, uh... It, it's crazy, man. <laughs> you like that, guys? Well, that's an imitation of him. That's pretty good. That's perfect. Caffeine. It's good, man. The show is awesome that you got going on, and you know when you're doing all this, uh, it's it's true. I mean, it's don't you talk back, boy. But uh, government officials, you know, like these government figures and everything, they're also calling us civilians. And I mean, people. Well, you gonna, gonna see that. civilian? You know, they need to wake up. I have got a uniform. <laughs> Bow down to that shiny medallion, fancy hat. <laughs> Hey, Alex, don't half of the American people work for the government? Yes, they do. We're, they're so supposed to fear us. I mean, sorry, sorry. That's what America's all about. It's about you being a civilian and shutting your mouth when I say it. So, well, if you get a if you get a job working for the government, does that mean you're no longer a civilian? I mean, in their their definition. Well, of course, civilian is what the military always called us, and now cops say civilians line up, and we're under military law, we're under martial law. Thanks for the call. Good to hear from you, Danny. Okay. Nate in Maine, uh, you're on the air. Go ahead. Good afternoon, gentlemen. You call me boss man. <laughs> I'm officer. Yes. You're a civilian. That means you're scum. Yes, sir, boss man. Can I please worship the government better? That's you, son of a bitch. Give me my taser. I don't like you praying to me. That's not enough of a grovel. Lick them. Lick the boot. Here, here. Now I want you to lick them that way. Lick them this way. You learn, you scum, you civilian trash. You pay my check right now. Oh, yeah. You pieces of trash. You do what I say. Lick it. Lick that boot, boy. Lick it all over. That's good. I'm going to put it right there so you can lick it right now. Lick it right Lick it, boy. Lick it what I tell you. Lick it that boot right now. Lick it, civilian. Oh, God. I love the newscast after I push him and taser him after he begs for no reason. They didn't say he's bad. And he is because he's a civilian. Lick it. Lick the boot, boy. Oh, you slave. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, guys. <laughs> Alex, let me, I have a recommendation for you. I think you need to go into motion picture production, uh, like, on a theatrical basis. I mean, some of the stuff, you know, the caricatures and the, the characterizations that you do on your program, I mean, you really could put that into a really good screenplay and just make the switch, you know. Well, William, I have been in a few movies, but I haven't pursued that. <laughs> well, you'd be great at it, man. I have, to, I have to just get in the mind of a petty scumbag who's been real cowardly their whole life and beat kids up till they were about 14, and finally the kids beat them up, and they went, how do I get control? I go, you know, 
<clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just got to get in that mindset. Of, of, like somebody real scared, but like it's into being tough. So, uh, I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you. And then if you, you don't like it, I'm going to tase you. I'm, I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to do what I want. Yeah, I got the power. I'm a cop. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I love the line. You know, oh, Alex. Jesus. It's, uh, it's helping me uh, wake a lot of people up. I shock people, my family, my friends every time when I get them to sit down and watch it with me. Uh, oh, uh, oh. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I just wanted to talk real quick about uh, how I stopped watching TV about four years ago. That's not and good, civilian. You need to watch that to learn who's your boss, boy. And however, I do keep the cable on to monitor what's going on, mm -hmm. and I compare it with your show, and I, I see what's really going on. But one thing I, I noticed is they had this commercial on the other day where they're talking about what kind of carbon footprint is your house leaving? And Yeah, they're getting you ready for the tax, the regulators, the control. Just, they're going to be inside your house, civilian. Just like You're Richard N. Haas, the head of the CFR, wrote and said, it's fake, but they're going to use it to be, quote, anti-human, that humans are the enemy of the elite. That is a public CFR document. Paul wrote an article about it where they admit it's fake, carbon that's good for plants, that plants breathe, and then they ignore all the real toxic waste to tax us and have one-child policies. It's eugenics. Not to mention the fact that there's planets further away from Earth that have global warming that are uninhabited. Exactly. The sun was heating up until about six months ago. Good to hear from you, Nathan Maine, civilian scum. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk to Jane in Arkansas. You better pray to me and you better lick my boots. I'm an officer and you're a lowly civilian. Go ahead. Hello, Alex. So I'm going to tase you right now. Right now. You bow down right now, you piece of trash. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, Alex. Uh, I'm Officer Jackboot. Go ahead. Officer Jackboot, yes. Um, I'm was... tough. I'm really, I'm really going to respect my uniform. <laughs> First of all, I do just want to say that I have loved you to hear you laugh in the last couple of days. It's been really hilarious. That's because I've gone insane. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the main reasons I was calling is regarding a caller that called in yesterday. He's a scientist that works for the government. And he was talking about how um, he was trying to um, talk to his wife into, or not talk her into it, but trying to teach her about what's going on in the world today and how he's not being very successful at that. And I just want to say that I have always been leery of the government. I remember, I'm 40 years old, in 88, I was looking at Ron Paul, you know, not no knowing that, Excuse me, did you say you don't like your government? That's illegal! According to neocons I worship, talking bad about the government, that's Al Qaeda talk! <laughs> the guilty as charged, man. <laughs> but I just wanted to say that, you know, my husband has been listening to your show for about 10 years, and about two years ago, we moved from Florida, Tampa Bay area, to Arkansas, you know, to get away from the city. And I just want to say that when we made that move, he really was starting to get into the truth movement and all that stuff. And I was almost getting worried about him because I had I'd heard about you and I'd heard about, you know, the truth movement. You'd heard about that Al-Qaeda, Alex Jones, that wicked <laughs> person that talks about freedom? That civilian <laughs> trash, how dare him tell you you got rights? Oh, he but needs I, to <laughs> jump off a bridge. You know. I, what I really was trying to say is that... Um, I was really getting concerned about him because I thought he was kind of losing his mind, even though I knew that what he was telling me was true, and I agreed with everything that he said. I just felt like he was going off the deep end, and then I started listening to your show and started really paying attention to what was going on, and I'm telling you, I have... I am more of a believer than he is today, you know. I've made him go out and buy some storable foods. We've got a water filter. We've got property out in the country. You know what? That's a vote of non-confidence, you civilian trash. You should well, trust us and drink that sodium fluoride. Doesn't matter if there's 20,000 studies saying it attacks all your tissues and kills you and brain damages you. Drink it up. I drink it. Are you saying well, I'm stupid? Huh? 
<laughs> no, you I wipe that I... smile off your face right now. I'll tase you and I'll set you up and I'll send you to prison. You heard all the videos of us on the line where people record us setting them up? I'll set you up. I'll show you who the boss is. I'll show you who the winner is. I'll show you I'm bigger than you and I'm better than you and I own you, lady. And I know that's what's coming for us, you know. I know that is exactly what is coming for us. And I'll tell you, I'm ready. I am ready. You know. It's, I'm it's, ready too. I like it. Good looking women don't like me, but under a police state, I, I can do whatever I want because you're a civilian. Yeah, well, we we got guns in this house, and they're not registered. You don't so. got them for long. I rule. I'm the they're government. not registered. <laughs> I'm going to get them anyways. What do you think our helicopters do flying over? It's freedom. You pay for it with your taxes. Department of Defense. We defend the bankers. You worship us. Understood? Good. Thank you for the call. Thank you.